what's up everyone it is jordan and we have been long overdue for an update on my 29 gallon reef tank and the actual update for this tank is going to be in a different video because real quick i just wanted to show you um, a little diy project that i've been working on um, <clears throat> recently i got bored and uh happened to notice a video from the king of diy himself or joey as you might know him um, he has a, a video on making a DIY protein skimmer, which I'll put the link if you want to check it out. And I figured I have most of the stuff um, just sitting around. Actually, the only thing I had to buy was PVC pipe and then just cut it down to size. And I just thought, you know what? For a couple dollars, let's just see, uh, let's just see if this thing actually works. And, um, you know, depending on how well it works, I might just uh, stick with it or I might upgrade to a, you know, an actual uh, store-bought skimmer. So let me show the, uh, show you that real quick. Just got to turn on a light so you can see down in my slump area. And please excuse, uh, <clears throat> you know, the detritus uh, down there. Um, this was a refugium and I got rid of all the Kato. And so there's some still some algae that was growing in here that I haven't cleaned out yet just because this sump is... Uh, hard to get out of here. I just haven't done a, uh, a deep clean So all you need is a piece of PVC pipe with a wooden air diffuser at the bottom So your bubbles are going to rise up and they're going to collect there Which will turn into foam and then I added this little elbow here so that the water being sucked up through this process Has a place to go so water coming in and out. It's kind of like how a uh, sponge filter works Bubbles rise to the top and the bubbles don't have any place to go so they collect here and turn into foam and Then which you can actually see it's working really well. <laughs> it's it needs to be emptied out uh, There's a bunch of foam being collected at the top, which is what you want now You're gonna have to adjust it obviously because you don't you know if, if I had a bigger collection cup this comb this foam wouldn't necessarily be an issue But it's a small collection cup, so it needs to be emptied out uh, quite regularly and I just need to you know fine-tune it um, to get it running how I want and As you can see when I pull this out and take this Lid off here lots of foam being created Pull this off Look at the color of that That is skimmy now. It's running uh, a little bit wetter than I would probably like it because that's a lot of liquid um, but you can just see the color difference. I mean, obviously, you know, my, my tank is crystal clear. So that is organic waste that is, that is being pulled out of the water column. So I was really impressed that, you know, overall, this only took me eh, maybe about half an hour or so to, uh, to make. You know, I just cut the PVC, um, drilled a hole for the air, for the, uh, you know, the airline, drilled a hole for the suction cup, and drilled a hole for that elbow piece that I already had. And then uh, following Joey's tutorial, I just cut the, um, you know, the plastic water bottle uh, and inserted the neck into the bottom to, and siliconed it to you know, essentially make a cup. So this is actually working pretty well. So I am honestly probably just gonna run this for a while um, because I just saved myself like at least $100 and it's doing the exact same thing that a you know, expensive skimmer is doing. I just have to, you know, there's no instruction manual with this, so I just have to adjust it, you know, as, as I see fit um, to make sure that it's not running excessively, you know, dry or excessively wet because ideally I should only have to empty this, you know, maybe every couple of days. I think every day would be a little excessive. So, uh, like I said, I was running Refugium. The maintenance was starting to get kind of a bit much for me just because you know, I was trying different bulbs and it was just growing a lot of excessive algae that I didn't like and I thought might be more harmful in the long run. So I thought, well, let me just try a skimmer and why not make one? So that's that. Like I said, there's going to be a link to the uh, tutorial. Um, it's really simple. Uh, you don't need, you know, any fancy tools or whatever to make this. And uh, if you just want to try a skimmer without investing a bunch of money and see if it, you know, improves things in your tank or whatever, then then why not do it? Uh, you know, to me, that yellowish brownish color in the collection cup indicates that, you know, it's, it's doing something. It's, it's pulling 
organic waste out of the water. And uh, you know, how that benefits my tank is, uh, re you know, remains to be seen. And I, I may not see any difference in my tank. You know, my tank might continue to uh, just be the same. But um, like I said, <clears throat> that skimmate that's being produced, that's potentially waste that could uh, build up in my tank. So why not run it? Anyway, that's it for right now. I'll be doing a, uh, you know, an update about the tank itself here next. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you thought this homemade skimmer was, uh, you know, neat, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more about my tanks, hit the subscribe button. All right. Thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next video.